Hello everybody, I'm Thorion, and today I'll show you 5 unspoken stage builder tricks in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Number 1 You can make terrain go so fast that fighters won't be able to keep up with it. For this trick to work, we'll choose the big stage, activate the grid, use freehand and start drawing our shape on the left side of the drawing space by going 10 grid blocks up, 1 to the right and 8 down, 10 right, 3 up, 14 right, 5 down, 15 right, 5 up, 26 right, 6 down, 25 right, 7 up, 32 right, 10 down, and lastly, 1 down and 1 right. Now we'll shrink it until it's about 16 grid blocks wide before rotating it 90 degrees to the right and placing it on the left side of the drawing space, then stretch it out to the right side. Next, what we're going to do is turn off the grid and flatten this shape as much as possible to find that one pixel before Stage Builder tells us that it's not possible to draw this shape. This may take a little while, but once found, Stage Builder will freeze for a few seconds, meaning that the Infinite Terrain platform is complete. Now we'll build the mechanism, and to do so, we'll first enable the platform's gravity and respawn, add a spring to it, place a piece of ice under the Infinite platform, a vertical piece of bouncy rubber on its left side, and a piece of metal in front of it, which we will equip with a gear rotating to the left. We can adjust the speed of the infinite terrain platform by changing the speed of the gear and with the distance between the piece of metal and its gear. Meaning that if we maximize the gear's speed and the distance between its terrain, we can make the fastest moving terrain in Smash Bros history, which can go 8 times faster than the big blue. I'm really feeling it! This trick can also be used with the second unknown stage builder trick to move terrain at high speeds, just like in this stage sweeping minigame. Number 2 There is a certain type of platform that only lets fighters through and blocks everything else. For this to work, we'll use the grid and start our shape in the bottom left corner of the top left grid block. After that, we'll go to the bottom right corner of the drawing space, and then to its top left corner. Once done, we can shrink it as shown. Since only terrain can interact with this type of platform, we can, for example, make terrain slide on ice while fighters won't, push terrain affected by gravity without moving the fighters, or help fighters escape from hazards. Yeah! Number 3 if you finish building a stage and the game tells you that there isn't enough platform space for fighters to stand on, we can add a platform to the stage and make it fall out using gravity. With this trick we can also make the smallest possible battlefield, or even a stage with no terrain whatsoever. Number 4 If your shared stage has been deleted after 3 months and you want to repost it without altering it, you can go in Stage Editor, remove one letter of its name and add it back before posting. This trick can be used to repost the same stage as many times as you want. Number 5 okay. We can slow down an entire stage by activating the grid and using freehand to slowly draw a large shape with jagged lines similar to this one. Next, we'll place a smaller version onto the first one and add a gear to its center. We can adjust the slow motion by changing the gear's speed or by adding another one of these structures to it. 
We can also adjust the gear's range so that the stage only gets slowed down every few seconds. And if the structure's movement would bother you during a battle, we can hide it behind another terrain layer. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. And for now, bye! Jump! I'm really feeling it! Ha! Let's -a go! Result!